Hi guys, so this is the second part of our discussion in work physiology where we are going to talk about the rest time periods for a given specific work time duration for a worker. Now, this specific topic is especially important if you want to determine how much time should be allotted for resting after a certain work duration. Or sometimes, how many or how much rest period should be allotted given a total working time. Now, for our energy expenditure, we have the formula for ER bar, which is the time-weighted average energy expenditure rate, and this is in the unit of kcal per minute. So, we have the summation of the product of your time multiplied by the energy expenditure rate for activity I, and then divide by the total sum of your working time and your resting time. Okay? Now, for our example, so for the calculation of time-weighted average of energy expenditure rates, so a male worker performs a repetitive task for 4 hours during the morning that requires an energy expenditure rate of 7.5 kcal per minute. Now, each hour, he works 40 minutes at this task and then takes 20-minute rest break. During rest breaks, his energy expenditure rate is estimated to be 1.5 kcal per minute. Now, compute the time-weighted average energy expenditure. Now, in this uh, type of problem, so iba na to dun sa uh, pinag-usapan natin in the previous video where we apply weight correction, age correction, and so on. So, this is a different topic. So, you don't have to apply weight and age correction in this specific type of problems when you want to just determine how much time is needed for resting to overcome fatigue. Okay? Now, for our solution, so take note that our given problem talks about a male worker. Because if you recall from the, uh, from the module, we have a fixed value for male and females. Ang recommended energy expenditure rate on the average for male is 5 kcal per minute and for females, it is 4 kcal per minute. So, it's a constant number. Now, ang ating given, your T work or your working time is 40 minutes. So, since 4 hours in the morning, 4 hours in, in, in the afternoon, and then each hour, yung kanyang partition is 40 minutes working, and yung kanyang resting is uh, 20 minutes. So, yun yung partition or yung allocation of rest and work for each hour. So, 40 minutes working, 20 minutes resting. And during the 40 minutes that he is working, his energy expenditure rate is 7.5 kcal per minute. And then, the resting time is 20 minutes. And uh, the energy expenditure rate expended for, uh, for the resting time is 1.5 kcal per minute. Now, in this type of problems, constant number yung 1.5 kcal per minute. So, if ever hindi na provides a problem, yung energy expenditure rate for resting, it is always 1.5 kcal per minute. Okay? Now, for our um, problem, so we are to compute for the ER bar. So, we want to, to know if the current uh, work rest duration uh, complies with the recommended value of 5 for males. Alright? Now, for our solution, based on the formula, your ER bar is your T work multiplied by ER work plus T rest multiplied by ER rest, and then divide by the total working time, which is your T work and your T rest. Now, this is just the simplified or the expanded formula based on the general formula we have on the previous slide. Kasi diba yung general formula natin is the summation of all the times and then for a, uh, for a given respective energy expenditure rate. Now, in this case, so we are only given the, the general T work and general T rest and then its corresponding ER values for working and resting. Now, substituting 
ER bar, so this is 40 minutes multiplied by 7.5 plus 20 minutes multiplied by 1.5 and then we divide it by 40 plus 20 which will give us an answer equivalent to 5.5 kcal per minute. Now, ang ating goal in doing this uh, solution or doing this um, ano yun, yung pag-compute, so we want to verify if the current work rest uh, allocation really is within the recommended values for working. However, since our computed value is 5.5, so this is greater than the recommended value of 5 kcal per minute. So in this case, we want to know how much or what should be the work uh, work rest allocation in order for the worker to overcome fatigue by complying with the recommended value of 5 kcal per minute. Now, in this case, so we have the follow-up question. So, what should be the proportion between work and rest to qualify for the recommended value, which is again 5 kcal per minute? Now, take note that if in the given problem, ang binigay is female, so yung ating basis is 4 kcal per minute. So, we want to let x as your t work. And then, syempre, 60 minus x as your t rest. So, kasi yung total working time natin is 60 minutes. Now, for our um, steps, we, we want to substitute in the general formula. So, which is ER bar. So, that's t work times ER work plus t rest times ER rest and then divide by t work plus t rest. So, that's 5. So, since we want to just manipulate the formula later on. So, ang target natin is to find the value of x that will satisfy the recommended value of 5 kcal per minute. So, that's 5 equals your x times 7.5 plus 60 minus x times 1.5 and that's all over 60 minutes. Now, you might wonder, uh, ma'am, pwede bang palitan yung energy expenditure rate? So, no, kasi if uh, we have a specific energy expenditure rate for a given work task or for a given activity. So, ang engineering or management, ano lang, management control na pwedeng gawin is to adjust the work duration and rest duration in order to comply with the recommended values for workers' rest time. So, ang x natin is 35 minutes. So, by manipulating the formula, so shift solve in our solution on our calculators, x should be 35 minutes. So, yung current work duration niya kasi is 40. So, ibig sabihin, management should adjust the worker's schedule to just let him work for 35 minutes. And then, syempre, resting is 25 minutes. So, yung 5 minutes na inalis doon sa working time, dinagdag sa resting time. Now, we want to, uh, we have this uh, rest periods formula. So, which is T rest is equivalent to T work times your ER work minus ER bar all over ER bar minus, uh, minus ER rest where again, T rest is your rest time, uh, T work is your working time, and ER work is your energy expenditure rate associated with the physical activity. And syempre, ER rest is your resting energy expenditure rate. Now, note on the rest formula that there are actually two rest formula. So, the first rest formula on the previous slide is applicable for cases where a worker is currently working and a certain rest period is needed to overcome fatigue after the working time. So, yung nakita nating formula on the last slide. So, that is the first rest formula. So, ang scenario dito, uh, meron siyang working time and then after ng work na yon, stop na siya and then we want to determine what should be the resting time to overcome fatigue. So, that is the application of the first formula. Then, yung ating second formula naman, 
So this is derived from the average energy expenditure formula or yung ER bar natin. And this formula is applicable if we want to know how much rest is needed to overcome fatigue within the work period. Now again, magkaiba sila ha. Yung unang rest formula, working and then after noon, rest na siya. Wala na siyang ibang gagawin. Yung second rest formula, given tayo ng total work duration niya and within that work duration, how much should it be divided for resting and working to overcome fatigue? Now, does it sound familiar? Yung unang example natin kanina, di ba? 60 minutes yung total time na mag-work siya. And then we want to allocate how much from the 60 minutes ang dapat nag-work at dapat siya ay nagre-rest. So yun yung ina-applyan ng second rest formula. And if you can remember, we just derived the T-rest recommended from the ER bar formula. Now, we have the derivation of the second rest formula. So, in this one, so using the formula, your ER bar, which is your T work times ER work plus T rest times ER rest all over T work plus T rest. So, we designate your total time or yung TT, uh, which is your total time. So, that is your T work plus T rest. So, T work is there for your total time minus your T rest. And then, thus, ang sabi, ang ER bar is equivalent to your total time minus T rest uh, multiplied by ER work plus your T rest times ER rest. And this is all over your total time. So, ito, ano to, ah, ang ginawa lang natin dito, ah, nag-substitute lang tayo based on the values. So, manipulating or just uh, simplifying the formula. So, you have your total time times ER bar. So, nag-cross multiplication tayo. So, that is equivalent to your total time times uh, ER work minus T rest times ER work plus T rest times ER rest. So, yun yung ating uh, uh, pag-simplify ng formula. So, nag-cross multiplication and then nag-distributive property tayo for the, uh, for the other side of the equation. So, continuing. So, we have the total time times ER bar. So, yun yung, yung first line is from the previous slide. And then, just uh, transposing. So, such that your TR, uh, uh, your T rest is on the left side and your other uh, variables are on the right side. So, para ma-factor out natin siya. So, T rest. So, this is T rest times ER work minus T rest times ER rest. So, equals your total time times ER work minus your total time times ER bar. So, Continuing with the simplification, so factoring out T rest in the previous line. So we have T rest, that's ER work minus ER rest, and then is equivalent to total time times the quantity ER work minus ER bar. Therefore, your T rest formula is your total time multiplied by the quantity ER work minus ER bar all over ER work minus ER rest. So, this is actually the second rest formula. Now, using the previous example where, um, where for a 60-minute work period, we were tasked to get the appropriate work rest proportion to be qualified for the recommended value of 5 kcal per minute for male. So, uh, this is just a recall. So, what if ito yung ating ginawang solution? So, kulang pa ako ng parenthesis dito. So, yung t is 60 times 7.5 minus 5 all over 7.5 minus 1.5. So, this is 25 minutes. So, same siya dun sa answer natin in the first example. Okay? Now, next problem, so determining the appropriate rest period for a given task. Now, a male worker performs physical labor that has an energy expenditure rate of 8.2 kcal per minute for 20 minutes. 
how long a rest break should the worker be allowed at the end of this work period. Now, take note that in this uh, problem, 20 minutes siyang mag-work and then after that, uh, how much should be spent for him to rest. So, this is clearly the first rest formula. Kasi working and then rest. Alright? Yung second formula, within the work time, nasa andun yung resting, yun ang second rest formula. So, in our solution, again, male worker siya, ER work is given as 8.2 kcal per minute, and yung T work is 20 minutes. Now, we are to compute for the T rest. So, take note, that the given scenario here is that the worker shall work for 20 minutes, then rest after this duration. So, clearly, this is the first rest formula. Now, also take note that ER bar is 4 kcal per minute for females. So, since male yung ating example, we will continue to use the value of 5 for ER bar. So, we will use the first rest formula again. So, T rest is T work times ER work minus ER bar all over ER bar minus ER rest. So, this is uh, 18.29 minutes. So, we just substituted the value in the formula. Okay? And then, in this um, slide, so this is the rest proportions for an 8-hour shift. So, the answer that you can obtain here is a proportion or a percentage format. And this is actually the same as the, uh, the second rest formula. So, if you want to know the actual duration for a given specific working time, so, minumultiply lang natin yung answer dito with the total time. So, in this case, 8 hours laman kasi yung usual na shift. So, you just multiply it with 8 hours. Okay. So, yan yung ating explanation. Now, rest proportions again. So, this is the final example for this video. So, a male worker performs hard physical labor uh, interspersed with rest breaks for fatigue during an 8-hour shift. Now, the physical work has an energy expenditure of 8.2 kcal per minute. So, first is how should the 8-hour shift be divided between work period and rest breaks? And then, is this division consistent with the rest period value computed in the previous example? And as a check, is the time weighted average energy expenditure rate for the shift within the recommended 5 kcal per minute? So, we want to verify if really this formula will be uh, within the recommended value of 5 kcal per minute. So, for our solution, so we were given ER work as 8.2 kcal per minute. Your total time is 8 hours. And then, for our rest proportion, we have the following formula. So, ER work minus ER bar. So, this is over ER work minus ER rest. Again, ER rest is a constant number and this is 1.5 kcal per minute for uh, the general use in problem solving for rest breaks or rest periods. Okay, so this is now 8.2 minus 5 and then over 8.2 minus 1.5 and this will give us an answer of 0.4776 or 47.76%. So, ibig sabihin, the 8-hour shift should allot 47.76% of it for resting lang. And then, the rest is just working na. Now, yan yung ating answer. Now, T-rest is therefore 0.4776 multiplied by 8 hours. So, we have an estimated value of 3.82 hours uh, ano yan, kahit na ano siya, uh, ano yan, combined value. So, combined values of rest should equal 3.82 hours within the 8-hour work period of the worker. Now, letter B. Is this consistent with the value obtained in the previous example? Now, in our example, T work is 20 minutes and T rest is 18.29 minutes. So, yung na-solve natin. So, therefore, your total time is 20 plus 18.29 or 38.29 minutes as your total time for work and the rest. 
So, yung rest proportion is just 18.29 over 38.29. So, this is also 0 0.4776 or 47.76% uh, yung ating proportion. So, siya ay consistent. Okay? And then finally, checking if the rest proportion is within the recommended value of 5 kcal per minute. So, using the formula for ER bar, so we let x as your 8.2 minus 5 over 8.2 uh, minus 1.5 and then we multiply by 8R. So, we use this, uh, ito, yung, yung paggamit ng gantong variable just to make sure na exact yung magiging answers natin kasi meron tayong mga decimal values. So, this is your T rest. So, yun yung ating X. So, yung rest proportion multiplied by the 8R. So, that is the duration of your resting time. And then, T work is just 8 minus X. And then, therefore, you want to verify if this equation really is equivalent to 5 K cal per minute, which is our recommended value for energy expenditure rate. So, just substituting the values of x. So, yung answer natin is really equivalent to 5. So, therefore, yung ating rest proportion formula is really consistent with the recommended values for work and rest duration. And that's the end of our discussion. So, again, if we have questions or you need clarifications, so just inform me or you can message me or participate in the discussion board. So, I'll see you on the next video. Bye!